I'm going to show you how to do those one-liner percent word problems that are typically seen on standardized tests. And I'm going to show you how to do these quickly and easily every time. Let's look at our first example. 19 is what percent of 261? It seems simple because it's short. However, it's hard to know where to start. Do I multiply the two numbers to get something like D or C? Or do I divide the numbers and get something like A or B? It seems like no matter what you do, the answer is actually there. So I'm going to show you a foolproof way to develop an equation to solve for what they're asking for. Let's just write what we read. 19 is means 19 equals what means put a variable there per means divide cent is referring to century so divide by 100 of means multiply so times 261 there's our equation so now we just have to solve for w by dividing by 261 on each side and then multiplying by 100 to get w equals 7.28% Let's try another example. 33% of what number is 497? So we're going to do the same thing and write what we read. 33% means divide by 100. Of means multiply. What number means, place a variable there, is means equals 497. And just like that, we have an equation. So now just solve for W by multiplying 100 on both sides and then dividing by 33 on both sides to get W equals 1506.06. .06. So, so far we've seen that is means equals, per means divide, of means multiply, and what or which means put a variable there. Let's try another example. 14% of 190 is which of the following times 13.3? Writing what we read, we have 14%, which means 14, divided by 100, of means multiply, so times 190, is means equals, which of the following means, place a variable there, times 13.3. And there's our equation, just like that. Now, just solve for w by simplifying the left side and dividing by 13.3 on both sides to get 2. Let's try one more example. What is one-fifth of 20% of 300? What means, place a variable there, is means equals one-fifth of means one-fifth times 20% is 20 divided by 100 of 300 means times 300. That's it. There's your equation. Now just simplify on the right side by reducing numbers and then just multiply what's left over to get w equals 12. This write what you read tactic to develop equations can be used in other types of word problems, even the lengthy ones. So try it. Simple as that.